everybody out there and welcome back to Comic Frontline. I'm Chris and you're here with me once again for another comic book review. Continuing the review for the series I never thought I'd be reading, Secret Empire, issue number three. I did issue two on my channel, did issue one over here on Comic Frontline. Mike Spider Slayer did issue two on Frontline and now we're back again with issue number three. After the revelation of the last issue, the ending to the last issue, I am officially hooked on Secret Empire and need to know now how this series is going to end the final Worldwide event for Marvel uh, for the next 18 months after this ends. They've been, you know, we got another issue that they added. They added 10 issues, which brings this event now up to 11 issues in total because we had issue zero, tons of tie ins. But anyway, we're not here to talk about all that other stuff. We're here to talk about issue number three of Secret Empire. And as uh, always, I'm going to give you guys, I was about to go into the overview, but I'll tell you, I'm going to give you guys two things first. Number one, some preview artwork should be appearing here now. And number two, spoiler alert warning, I will be going into Secret Empire issue number three. If you haven't read it yet, definitely take this video, put it in your watch later file and come back later because Secret Empire is a world changing event that will impact the Marvel Universe for the next 18 months and lead us into Legacy and we won't be having another event for a while. And again, a lot of people are not happy with where they're going with Steve Rogers. But I promise you guys, after the ending to the last issue, if that's any indication, any indication that there's still hope out there for Steve Rogers, re redemption or, or something more, nothing will. But anyway, at the end of last issue, which really isn't a spoiler at this point, we got to see that there's another Steve Rogers out there. And he's trying to get home. But where is he? Where exactly is he? Because he's not on Earth, possibly. So where is he and how is he going to get home to stop the Hydra Cap? I don't know. But in this issue, they give us a little bit more of that. They give us a little bit more of Cap's descent into darkness, as, as best to put it. You have Black Widow who's planning against, you know, planning to assassinate Steve. You've got the other Avengers that are going to be that went to Falcon for a reason that we're not going to get into on this overview um, to try to find those missing fragments of the Cosmic Cube to save Cap or bring Cap back to being who he was before he was changed. And you got a lot of crazy stuff. And at the end of every issue, there is a shocker. And I will say this, if Michael was reading this issue, the final page to this book would definitely shock the hell out of him. But anyway, that's the overview. And believe it or not, I, I apologize that the overview is very overview -y without really that much talking about the book. There's a lot that happens in here, and it's a lot. It's hard to give you guys a non-spoiler overview of this book. So uh, from this point on, we will be going into spoilers. So if you haven't read the book, definitely watch later, file, come back later. Anyway, we find out that Steve is with this girl, and this girl is dying because she was bit by one of the serpent gang. And she's dying from poisoning. And Steve's like, don't give up yet. We'll find a way to to help you. You know, we'll, we'll, there's a stream not too far away. We'll get there before dawn. We'll go and, uh, and we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. So he's not giving up on this girl. So they walk off and then we go back to space. We have Star-Lord and Rocket Raccoon reaching out to... I forget who these people are. The... Um, um, all the different civilizations saying, you know, Earth is under a shield. The guy known as Captain America is now evil. And Earth is basically facing certain death and they need, we need your help. And I love how it's like the scrolls and the brew and everybody else. And they're like, um, we're very familiar with Earth and um, basically death to Earth. And he atta they attack Star-Lord and Rocket and, and Star-Lord reaches out to Carol and he's like, I'm sorry, it doesn't look like anybody. Because basically Earth is pissed off a lot of evil um uh, colonies out there and a lot of races out there so no help for Carol and everybody above Earth that are trapped outside of Earth so now we go back onto Earth and we've got Black Widow who is staying with Boomerang and apparently so is Maria Hill and they're planning the assassination of Captain America <clears throat> and all the while also Black Widow <clears throat> is training all of the revolutionaries who want to work with her uh, how to do, how to get the job done, even if it means killing the person. Because they're, they're in this drill where there's this person who, who has this bomb and they have a minute to disarm the bomb and save all the people. And it turns out the bomb is actually the person. So they try to save the person because the person has these nanites that'll explode. 
They try to stop the person by saving her and at the same time saving everybody else, and they can't. And that's where Black Widow's like, you know what? Sometimes you got to be willing to make the sacrifice, one to save a million, you know? And that, that was the whole lesson that none of them were willing. You know, they're playing by the old rules. And Black Widow's like, those old rules don't matter anymore. Ever since what Cap did, those old rules no longer are in effect. Sometimes you got to be willing to do, you know, to let one person go in order to save hundreds. And then we go back to Hawkeye and the others. And they need Falcon's help to get out of the United States. They need to go uh, where they believe they're going is to, I believe it's Brazil. But in reality, they're going somewhere completely different that they don't even want to tell Falcon because anyone who knows where they're going would be basically committing suicide and anyone who knew where they were going would basically back out. So then you have Cap who's attending this like science fair and it's all like the, the, the brainiest kids in the world trying to figure out a better way to, you know, find in humans, this or that. And anyone who, you know, they, they get awards for making these amazing projects. And then a situation happens. They attack Namor. Because they believe this, the eldest temple in Atlantis basically has a piece of the fragment. And in the end, it doesn't. Namor was on to Captain America and basically planted a decoy. And he destroys the most, the oldest temple in Atlantis. And basically says, if Namor is going to play this way, we're going to give him nowhere to hide. Slowly, Steve Rogers, we are losing him to the darker version of himself with Hydra. But then again, we, we go back to... Steve in this plane of existence and this girl dies and she's like you're gonna find your way home before she dies he tries to save her in the worst way we got a flashback at the beginning of him being in the army and then we get another flash of him with his mother and she's like you know you're gonna make it Steve I wish I could be there to see it but you're gonna make it home and um you know you're gonna be able to save you know the people and and um you know they keep talking about how hope is like fleeting and disappearing we find out that actually Ultron knows that Cap is coming because Cap decides to make a you know to to go to somebody for help and he's like this is a this is going to be a deep mission and it's Ultron and Hank Pym together and uh, that's we all knew that was coming anyway we saw the covers for the rest of the series now I mean the preview magazine just came out this week so we know where the last cover of the of the whole series the event is so we knew he was going to go to Ultron so he is basically at the doorstep of Ultron, and then we find out that Boomerang gets attacked by somebody in Hydra. And guys, I apologize to any Punisher fans, especially my brother, but it looks like Punisher, you know, he, he just shows up at Boomerang, and he's like, you know what, I have questions, I know what you've been doing, and I'm guessing he met with, like, Maria Hill and Black Widow, and he's like, you know what, I could be your punishment, Hell Hydra. And you see the Punisher symbol with the Hydra tentacles, and it's like, whoa, the Punisher is working for Hydra now? That was an insane final page. I will say, if the wow factor for every single one of these issues, that that last splash page for every issue is going to have that wow feel, I can't wait for the next one. This was interesting. Again, the artwork uh, was really good. It was very dark, but again, they are in dark times. I really like the, the aura feel when we were in wherever Steve Rogers, the real Captain America, or I, we don't even know if it's the real Captain, we don't even know who it is yet. We still have no clue where this Steve Rogers came from, how he came into existence, or how he came to be wherever it is he is, uh, but we know he's there. And uh, it's, it's just insane. It's insane what's going on in the book. You know, like I said, you got Black Widow trying to assassinate Cap, you got Hawkeye and the others trying to plan out the impossible going to places that are basically suicide missions to find the Cosmic Cube. You got the Revolutionaries training, which of course teases the Revolutionary book. Uprise just came out this week. I have not read it yet, but I'm sure that connects somehow to everything that's going on with Secret Empire. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on with Secret Empire. Would I recommend this book? Again, if at this point in time, even after they've revealed that there is somehow a Steve Rogers that we all know and love out there, if you still can't get past the fact that Captain America is the, or a version of Captain America is the bad guy here and he's destroying the world all because of something that happened with the Cosmic Cube. At this point, there is no way of changing your mind. You're not going to like the series no matter how much we tell you it's interesting or how interested we are in it or how much we recommend the book to you. It's not going to matter. At this point, if you are still not liking it, 
strictly for the fact that Captain America is Hydra, it's not going to change at this point because it pretty much is telegraphed that this is how it's going to be all the way until the very last issue where I guess that's where we'll figure out what's going to happen with this other Steve Rogers and, and Hydra Steve and or Hydra Cap, if you want to call him that, and, and everything that's going on. Uh, I am definitely going to finish this event out because it looks interesting. I haven't really been interested in, event in, a, in an event in a while, and this event definitely has... I want to sink my teeth into it a bit. But it's one of those books where I leave it up to you guys. If you're interested in Secret Empire, go pick it up. If you're not, for whatever reason, whether it be you're tired of events, um, you don't like the whole Hydra Captain America shtick, whether it be the real Cap or not, or you just, you're just tired, or it's just not your type of event, you know, because it's Captain America, even though it's bleeding off, into, or if you're angry at Marvel because this event is bleeding off into every single book almost, then that's up to you. But if you're interested, this might be, if you're interested in something different, this might be the book for you. I'm definitely very interested in it. I'm going to be following it till the end. Nick Spencer grabbed me with issue number two. This issue is very interesting. And if Michael, because Mike hasn't read it yet, but I am going to tell Mike to check it out. So you'll hear his reaction on Frontline Live on Tuesday. But the ending to this book for Punisher fans definitely would give them a bit of a whoa kind of feel. So up to you guys. But now, speaking about you guys, it's your turn. The review's over. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Did you give up on Secret Empire? Did you not even try Secret Empire? Are you sick of it? You don't want to hear about the Hydra Cap? You're done? You just want to wait for this to be over, get another 18 months of nothing, and then go back into the next Marvel event? Are you into it? Are you interested? Is this really catching you? What do you think of the artwork? What do you think of the story so far? This is for you guys. That's why we have the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think about Secret Empire issue number three? And with that, that's it for this review. As always, we are Comic Frontline, your number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. If you're new to the channel, hopefully you'll click the sub button. This way, we are in your sub box, and you don't miss out on a single video. Three live shows every week. You know this ending by now, especially if you've been here for a while. But if you're new, three live shows every week, at least. Frontline Live, Dark Avenger Live, Media Madness, not in that order. But yeah, we got a lot of stuff, so definitely click the notification bell. And go check out ComicFrontline.com for even more Frontline goodness. We got a lot of stuff going on on the website as well. Till next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys really soon in the next video.